Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. My name is Jack. You can call me I Shinobi. And today we have episode 13, Beasts of Dublith. Now, I believe this is the last episode in part one. I don't really know how the parts work, but this is the last episode in part one. Last episode, we were introduced to Izumi, who was Ed and Al's uh, former teacher. We got to see how she trained them, how she taught them originally. And uh, yeah, just kind of the relationship, how she's had the same experience as them with trying to resurrect someone. Basically, how she's one of the only people that can really understand them so i guess we're gonna see how their relationship develops even further i guess she acts as like a mother figure and i forget what his name is he's like a tank oh he acts as a father figure so i'm excited to see what we get into i doubt you even know how impressive that is regardless i can't accept the decision you oh made. she is actually upset with them you're expelled it honest, honestly makes a little bit of sense the teacher. that's like against all rules of everything trains are still running get on one i mean while she can relate to them everything they did break rules you aren't her students anymore so now you're finally free to speak to azumi as equals true of course you're too chicken to try it. haven't done what we came here to do in hmm. the first place thank you she's We're saying they should force right a new back. like more like camaraderie don't let her kill you don't let her kill you teacher brother what the hell are you doing coming back here uh, she knew it wouldn't hurt him teacher i do not teach scum like you get out of my home <laughs> teacher she's awfully aggressive we're trying to find a way to get our bodies back and we won't leave without your help get out now we're, we're staying. staying i think she wants them to do this like she wants them to like take a stand for themselves have a voice for themselves you idiots also now, there's a way the truth did you no don't really even know what that means only ed you saw it lost your memory for we need to get Al's memory back. We only exchanged parts of our bodies for what we saw. But Al paid the toll with his entire physical being. More of the truth than either of us did. Oh, dang. If I can remember what I saw, then we'll know how to get our bodies back. The memory of that thing. He was just knocked out by shock. What can you do? What, is it something bad? No, it's more like awful. The arms. If there's a chance that it can help us, then I want to do it. All right. Crooked. A little bit. I have bit. an acquaintance that might know a way to retrieve your memory. Let's eat dinner first. Okay. okay. If she did want this. The rumors are true. He's able to transmute human souls. Yikes! Wait. Who is that? I thought that was no, because Gluttony has like the super super round face. Back to East City. There's only one week left until the big transfer. Mm. Yes, sir. Mustang getting that promotion. I'm boring compared to some of the stories I've heard about you. He's gonna tell him something about the higher ups. I think it's just all so well, corrupt. Your hard work has made my life easier. And I feel like I've grown as an officer thanks to the variety of work you've allowed me to take on. Checkmate. It took me long enough to beat you. You can consider that my going away gift. Well then, you're riding. in a gift giving mood, there's something else I'd like. Advice? Master Sergeant Kane Fury, Warrant Officer Vato Fallman, Second Lieutenant Hyman's Breda, Second Lieutenant Jean Havoc. Oh shoot. First Lieutenant Riza Hawkeye, gather up your things. All five of you are transferring to Central Ooh. with me. And no objections. Understood. He's got a squad. At least he won't be completely alone. I've got a problem. I just started dating this girl and I really like her. Dump her. <laughs> That's rough, dude. The life of an officer. That is a wild weight. What in the world? Oh, is that? Oh, I was going to say a scar. Yeah. Wounds are never going to heal if you don't give it a rest. It does seem like the type to not want to just sit back. Mister, I'm glad that you're well. I was informed that you've been targeting state alchemists for execution. I know the animosity you feel. He's going to tell him to stop, isn't he? The state alchemist is responsible for the burning of our village and the death of our loved ones. Your vengeance will only, only sow time. the seeds of further violence. He's like a wise old man. His senseless revenge and its feeding of fruitless cycle. The cycle of pain. pain. End this cycle once and for all. It's prevalent in everything. Hey, Would you look at that? He really is here. Looks like you got yourself a deal. We'll split the bounty three ways with you. What? Yikes. Guess he didn't want the reward. <laughs> Yoki, how could you do something like this? We took you in and treated you like family when you had nowhere else to go. Just shut up. I never even wanted anything to do with you, Ishvalan. You lost what? Your war, but I'll rise again. And I'll use my power to annihilate Edward Elric. Who is this Waluigi looking? It's obvious that I'll only bring more trouble if I stay here. Well, it's got bounties on him. It's easy, pal. Yikes. What'd you do to him? <laughs> I mean, if you know he has such a bounty. Give you a moment to pray to God. You should be the one praying. 
Bro, that's so violent. There's a child right there. Please don't kill me, please. I'm begging you to spare my life. It's too late, Waluigi. It's over. He's gonna let him live, isn't he? So you're leaving then? Your brother would be sad. I'm trying to see what the tattoo. Oh. Still, it's too late to turn back now. I always thought it was Terra. Even uh, disobeying his previous, his former master's orders. Is Waluigi going with Scar? There is no way. He's on top of the building. Alice is so like, like innocent, dude. It's a weird tale. He's here. Oh, so it's three of them. We know your secret. Meet us at the devil's nest if you want to talk. And we know a lot about you. Because there's a lot about me that I don't know. <laughs> Do you have answers? Why don't you come with us? But my teacher always said I'm not supposed to go with strangers. How old are you? 14. Bruh. Oh, come on then. I'd say 14 is old enough to think for yourself. You gotta act like an adult. Start taking some risks. You think so? I should think for myself? I was like, oh yes. boy! And you can start by coming with us. So I thought it over for myself. <laughs> and I decided that I should just make you tell me what I want to know. Yo. So you want to do this by... Put them in their place, Al. <laughs> Bro, I, I ain't playing no games. Uh oh. Oh my gosh! Bro. Oh my gosh! All I'm trying to do is slow you down a little. Oh my gosh! What if she messes up the mark? Dude! You're making this way too hard. Who are these three? You people aren't human, are you? Good guess. Well, that definitely not that guy. And they have to work for me. Who it is he? It looks like an evil version Old of Roa, Beto, Martel, Doletta, or Dofetta? The name's Greed, and I want to be your friend. Greed? Like Why the sin of greed? People really are. You're not chimeras. Possible. No one's made a chimera that can talk. Can't believe everything the government tells you, kid. <laughs> you got all the proof you need right inside you. The girl in there is part snake. And this big guy here, Ro, what were you made Part with? bear? Yeah. yeah. Part cow. You also got a lizard and a crocodile. So they're all chimeras. Took down earlier tends to lift his leg when he pees. There's only one. Part dog? Yep. It's really not So, so what bad. is greed? I don't believe Is he even a chimera? It's not possible. Who would even be capable of creating one? The military. Are you saying they're telling you got it? There's a shadow world beneath yours that's jammed. Dude, it's so impossible. corrupt. I'm a homunculus. A homunculus? I'm an, an artificially, artificially created, created human? human? No joke. Huh. Homunculus? It's a person made from alchemy. That's gross. Doesn't that book say you're not supposed to try and make people? Yeah, Why? he's. A homunculus is just a theory. Nobody's made one. Al, you've, your mind has been blown already. Wait. So how are you supposed to beat him? Oh my gosh. You'll have to. That's terrifying. She'll have to get rid of the mark, wouldn't you? <laughs> if you got rid of the mark, would he be able to make himself back? That's Don't like that. You get it yet? Nothing is impossible, all right? No all such thing as no such thing. Hard time accepting that, considering you're just a soul in a suit of armor. True. Al himself is. Talk in the shadow world, and I've got plenty of friends. This is an example. <laughs> I'm more interested in hearing what it's like to have a body that'll never die. I mean, you basically have that already. soul transmuted. It sounds like that's the perfect recipe for immortality. <laughs> See, I'm greed. I want everything you can think of: money and women, power and sex. So Status, glory. I demand the finer Is things. he connected to the other course, sins? I crave eternal life. I am nearly 200 years 200 old. 200 years I old. I exactly say that I'm immortal. How is he not so, immortal? I've spilled my guts all over. Told you my darkest secret. Does he just age now, slower? Turn. Unless you'd rather be examined. I forgot she was in him. I wish I could tell you. That would mean I actually remember how I got it. Even if I could, I'm not the one who did the transmutation. I'll just ask the person who did. Don't tell him, Al. Don't tell him. And where would a seven foot tall suit of armor run off to? Yeah, it's gone. to tell you where you could find it. First, you tell me what his secret is. Oh, yeah. I was about to say, Ed ain't gonna play no games, bro. If you admit you have his brother. This guy's a homunculus. Way to ruin it. You might be the reveal. From him, 
on how to get our original bodies back. I want to know more about the government. How he was created. Who he was created by. Or a Boris tattoo. More specifically. Why don't you just ask your partners whatever you want to know. The rest of the Ouroboros gang from the fifth lab. Well, it's kind of a long story, but we don't talk much anymore. What if he's from that lab? You guys are pretty desperate to get your bodies back because I could teach you how to fabricate your own homunculus in no time at all. But that's not a real it's body. Fun, and all I ask is you teach me how to transmute a soul. Classic equivalent exchange. Technically. But I really don't understand why you would want your other body back. Seems like you've got one that's perfect. It's already. funny their perspectives. No, Choking, right? Oh, he would want a suit of armor. You don't need to sleep. You don't even need to use the toilet. Sounds great to That's me. That's not human. But I guess he's not human, so why would he want all that? Shut your damned mouth! Oh, yikes. You want to know how to transmute a soul? You want to you want to trade secrets with me? I feel like, yeah, he's not going to be shaking at all. I'll smash you and you, and I won't give you slime Can he take all of them on at the same time? And they're all just standing there. <laughs> Don't kill him, all right? Yeah, yeah. Oh shoot! Slower than a prisoner, I know. Next. And they're about to learn today. Guess we'll dismantle him. Right. No! They're gonna mess with his mark. Oh my gosh. Yo. hand sword of yours is kind of neat but it can't even scratch my ultimate shield ultimate shield what the gloves or like his hands he was like blocking with his hands oh did some damage it doesn't matter ed he's a homunculus that move would have hospitalized most people you don't care if somebody beats the crap out of you but if someone leaves a finger on a family member you completely freak that's who out. he is you lose your temper like this and you're gonna lose my information and your brother my brother's fine he's just waiting for me to kick your ass <laughs> you've already told us you're not immortal and your ultimate shield doesn't cover much <laughs> sorry to let you down but i've been holding back yikes here's my handsome face. i was about to say if it's on his hands to wear it that much his whole body is shielded? Try all your light, but you're not. Yo, wait, he looks sick. I found this lying in the alley. They're both missing. Oh Those man. Kids, they can't even sweep the street without getting into trouble. I think I can help. A friend of mine noticed a short blonde haired kid heading into a bar called the Devil's Nest. Thanks, random jogger. Oh shoot, isn't we better go wreck shop, bro? <gasps> Oh my gosh, dude, yet. greed is freaking insane. How would they beat him? There you go. You're chock full of piss and vinegar. I appreciate it. Dude. You just can't win. Oh my so, gosh. Are you ready to tell me your secret now? Dude, the other sins were crazy, but this guy is on a different level. Thanks for doing with me. What? It took me just enough time to cool off and start thinking clearly. Even after all this, it's still working. Ed, I don't know how much... Wait. How long you want to track this out? Wait, what did he just do? Stay down. Wait, did he take in the same material? Oh, it recovered though. That was bizarre. The only thing that'll break that material is the same material. Is that what happened? I think he copied it. Yeah, he's caught. He's he's bringing it in and then using it against them. Yeah. Dang, dude. That's smart. What the hell did you do to my shield? You may be a homunculus, but you really shouldn't have told me that your body is human, considering that means a third of it is made of carbon. And the hardness of carbon varies depending on how the atoms are arranged, so it's obvious that's what your shield is made of. Once I got that figured out, huh. the rest is simple alchemy. Heck yeah, Ed. Oh my gosh. He's got the brains and the brawn, dude. And there's one other important thing I noticed. I think that it's safe to say that I underestimated you. Yeah, for real. I mean, I did too. I didn't think there was any shot. Can you keep this up in your condition? <gasps> Is it Izumi? Sorry to barge Oh, in. shoot. Yo, you ain't got no shot now, Greed. Imbecile. You think it's funny not to put the broom away? 
I asked you a question. Green's oh, face. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thanks for your hospitality. Careful. He's a. Yes, I know. I could hear the two of you all the way down the hall. <laughs> Don't tell me you're gonna try and start anything, lady. It's no fun fighting a woman. Oh, you don't know who this lady is. <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> Just what the? Hell you got way you? too much confidence now, Reed. You asked what I am. <laughs> Just a passing housewife. I see why that capped off part one. Good lord, I was not expecting a fully fledged fight. That was a sick fight, like seeing the progression of Ed learning. And it was kind of a reminder of his smarts in battle and why he's made it this far, especially getting along with, with Al. Al's a lot more of the brawn, but Ed's like, he has his own special abilities, but he's also the mastermind behind everything. So I like that a lot. Reed is such a sick villain, but I'm wondering his connection to the others. And like, because there has to be some kind. Why would they all be like certain certain sins? So I'm excited to see that development. We've even got some development with Mustang and his crew that he's taking the central. I'm very excited to see that because I feel like that's a more not realistic situation, but it's a lot more political. And we're gonna get to see the manipulation of, of like relationships and stuff, I hope. Yeah, I'm just loving the way things are developing. I'm excited to start part two. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.